Our today's crime story is about an Indian serial killer, who used to target his friend. The merciless Indian serial killer, chopped the body parts of the victims leading to their death. He is Chandra Kintja, the serial killer from West Delhi. He then dumped the headless bodies outside a jail in India. Chandra Kintja, the Indian serial killer is a psychopath who, select his targets very carefully, and befriended with them, then killed and dismembered them. The serial killer murdered seven victims in West Delhi, within a period of nine years. He was born in 1967, in Gosai, Magapuro, Bihar, and was resident of Hyderpur, Delhi, India. Chandrakant Jha was working as a hawker in Delhi weekly bazaars. He married twice, abandoning the first within one year. He has five daughters with his second wife. He was mostly lived away from his family. Chandrakant Jha murdered a person named, Shikhar in 1998. For which he was arrested and held in jail until 2002, from jail he was released due to lack of evidence. Following his release, he embarked upon a spate of killings. He murdered Amesh in 2003, Gudu in 2005, Amit in 2006, and Upender and Dalip in 2007. Chandrakant Jha would befriend with the migrant laborers from surrounding states and help them get small jobs. Later on, petty disputes over things like smoking, lying or being non-vegetarian, would lead him to murder them by strangulation. Chandrakant took pleasure in taunting the police by leaving dismembered body parts around the city and outside the Tihar jail, with notes daring the police to catch him. He challenged the authorities, stating that he will send some Miller gift after every 15 days. In 2007, he had chopped the head, hands, legs and private parts of Upender, who was residing with him, leading to his death. He then wrapped the beheaded body of Upender in a gunny bag and dumped it outside gate number 3 of Central Jail, Tihar. The 46 years old Indian serial killer, was arrested in May 2007. He was found guilty of strangling his victims, decapitating their bodies and then throwing each part in a different areas of the city. His signature style of crime was to leave a sizable portion of the mutilated body outside to her jail. In two cases, he reportedly left notes for the police, with the promise of leaving similar gifts every fortnight. In one case, he is said to have called a West Delhi police station himself to inform them about a body part lying outside to her jail. He consistently evaded the police by dismembering his victims and scattering the body parts around the city making it hard for the cops to identify the victims and the perpetrator of the crimes. After killing his victims, he preferred to have dinner in the same room where his victims lay lifeless. The reason of these killings, going by police records, were chillingly casual, so he thought one of his victims was a habitual liar, he was upset about another's womanizing ways and didn't like the fact that one of his potential victims ate non-vegetarian. He was sentenced by the same court to life imprisonment till his death in another case of murder, in which also he had chopped off the head and limbs of the victim and had dumped the victim's body. He was sentenced to death in the second of the three murder cases in which he has been convicted. Taking into account the brutality with which the crimes were committed, the Indian court refused to show any leniency to him. His death sentences were commuted to life imprisonment without remission in January 2016. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more crime investigation reports and serial killers documentaries. Thank you for watching this video.